<laughs> I hate puppies. It's going to be tough. Too. It's a good podcast. Got this. Yeah, we can do it. The best. It's got to do two short threat. ones. I'm with you. <laughs> I have plenty. Up. I have plenty to drink over here, so we're good. Thank goodness. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Inside the Pallet House, the only podcast dedicated to solving first world problems and hopefully helping you figure out what beer you should be drinking this weekend. I got a couple things going on that I think uh, we won't enjoy drinking, and I'm actually excited about it. <laughs> one listener. Uh, one listener ruined us. Ruined us? Sorry about that. Oh, yeah, no. I, Adam can't talk shit. About? About the... Gonster? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna back down from that. He didn't challenge us. He didn't anything. He just sent it, and I was like, oh, okay then. That's what's up. It's happening. I couldn't remember what it was called. It was a Gonster. Nice. Yeah, the guy. Uh, buddies over at Rock Dingo Woodcraft. Adam went ahead and sent a little little meme in well, during the after the Guinness episode, and just had a picture. And I just said, what's wrong, honey? You barely touched your Gonster. And there's a Monster Energy <laughs> drink next to, a, next to a Guinness. And there's just like a half and half. And I was like, huh. Uh, Guinness was like, that's floated a, on top of Monster? Like, that's a horrible idea. I was like, I, the green I, monster. Should, I think I'll try that. Did you? How was it? I have no idea. We're going to find oh, out. Oh, you're going to find out. All right, I'm ready. I went and got the actual Monster. <laughs> like, Because they, they have like an extra dry Monster. Then it says draft on it or something. I was like, okay, they must be going after like a cider vibe. Wow. With that monster? I mean, shit, I can mix it up now. I am a little tired. We're going to get fucking cross that up in here now. I feel like I'm getting hazed. <laughs> you are getting hazed. If <laughs> I don't move right feeling. in. You're going to go right to it. Dave, drink these two things mixed together. No! <laughs> so we got Dave back, and we have Ray back. And Ray is not with uh, Taylor tonight. Yeah, we're doing a little, uh, taking a little break of squeezing lemons right now. Yeah, I think the listener picked up on that. Yeah, no joke. Uh, <laughs> was that a was that a knock? The yeah, listener, just a little. Uh, like I, on the podcast. I, 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 I meant the, list, I meant the <laughs> listeners. Oh. <laughs> I am a listener. Maybe I'm, I got crossed I'm up. Pretty sure the listener figured just out the that they're listener. not doing the episode. I was like, oh, that was a Look, dig. I don't. I do not dig uh, podcast numbers. I'm not one to. <laughs> we would have had dozens <laughs> of people disappointed. This glass you house. had one. We yeah. had just one. <laughs> Yeah, you know, uh, doing podcasts are hard. Yeah, <laughs> it is a, uh, it is. It, it, I don't think people realize what you have to put into it. And yeah, Brendan and, and I didn't want to kill your vibe when y'all yeah. came in and here all bright eyed, we bushy tailed. And we know, loved it, but we were both of us were like, I don't think they know. <laughs> yeah, and we produced. You know, we got ten or twelve episodes out, and then we probably still have another ten or twelve in, oh, like nitro. ready to go, but. It's just so much work with loading the pictures in, uh, doing the recipes, things like that. So yeah, because y'all are trying to keep it high end. We are, we we are, and, which means and more work. Just means more work, and you know we have a great producer, uh, Amanda Taylor's wife. Uh, just you know, she was trying to get a grant. She's a doctor actually, and so she's you know trying to get a grant and. She couldn't keep up with for the podcast. No, 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 for her like for, <laughs> for her, her job, science, job. whatever yeah, she does, yeah. and. You know, we uh, we went through uh, a little dry spell and finally said to him, you know, listen, if we don't do this, I got to go solo because I want to continue doing it. So I, re you're the, I recorded you're the Justin Timberlake of the yeah, oh, that's yeah. right. <laughs> the, um, it's got to be May. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he is the can we not do the got to be May? Like the first time he I saw it, Joey I was like, that's Patel. brilliant, right? And then like. <laughs> The next time I saw it, I was like, come on, guys. Like, it's it's everywhere. In fact, when I saw May coming, I was like, oh, oh, here, here we go. Here come here all go, the yeah. JT memes. And followed by May the 4th, which is yes. equally cringe. And then, uh, so I recorded uh, an episode solo? by video solo. Oh, wow. So only, it took about 12 minutes to record. Um, I'd have to edit it a little bit, but it was just a kind of a format where I could put it on TikTok or put it on Instagram or actually YouTube, because YouTube, you can. It's free. You know, you don't have to pay yeah. anything to, to download. And so kind of started started kind of brainstorming that kind of format. And I think that I think we're going to do some video stuff. We have a really nice setup now. So y'all are really going to try to flip everything. We're going to flip it. So in the basis is shorten it up. Shorten it up. We're not going to we're not going to get less ha pre -production, hammered. production yeah. post-production. A lot less pre-production because we were we were taking two hours just to mix drinks. 
drink them, rate them. Yeah. And we, it was just so time consuming. Um, and you get really drunk. And we were so drunk all the time. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it was like so much. I thought that's why you podcast. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but uh, but I think that That's we, how we started. I don't know if you what? remember hearing the stories, yeah. but like we used to get blasted. And after, wasn't, it wasn't long. We were like, that's probably not the way to go yeah, about it. it, it and there were, there were nights that we, were, we would get done and we were like, what? What did we just drink tonight? You know, like, what, what did we, we even put out? What did we put out? Yeah. You know, when we, we, you know, when you get drunk and when you're not in control, you can say some things, <clears throat> excuse me, say some things that are um, maybe inappropriate. Yeah. Oh, you, Troy, do you want this mixed with? <laughs> you just tell everyone you're, you you're playing a I'll character. Just try it right. <laughs> that's just straight. Okay. Yeah. Cause I don't think I'll be able to actually get to enjoy the, uh, the Gonster. That, that seems like a on. lot. Yeah, yeah, it's just a gonster. Just a little wake up. A little wake you up. You got chug it? Is that how you do it? I don't know anything about it. This is not a deli. This is just have a drink while we're uh, recording. That's all. So you took a monster. I extra took a, dry nitro. Which extra I've, dry I don't nitro. I have ever seen that. I nope. I just, you want to try it? No way. Not without Guinness. And then you floated a Guinness on it, or is it mixed? Unfortunately, it's mixed because I don't have a spoon out here, nor do I care. I'm just, oh, Ray's face just puckered. <laughs> The monster's a little sour. Oh, that is fucked. That is terrible. You okay. want to taste the monster? Because the monster itself doesn't taste very good. No, it tastes like orange cough syrup of some sort. Yeah. yeah. It's very uh, citrusy. Yeah, this is... Uh, it does not play well with the Guinness. I mean... Who would have thought? <laughs> I think you could slap a bill of rights on here with a cool label and fucking sell it out. Sell the hell yeah. out of this. <laughs> I mean, this would get, definitely get you pumped up. Yeah, hell yeah. And flaccid. <laughs> Nothing like uppers and booze, and booze for, right for a solid hard on, you know. I don't or know not. if you guys have ever done the math on that one, but it doesn't work. <laughs> no. So yeah, so y'all are just. Uh, I'm glad you're go, getting it back oh, out there. I'm oof. when I, I when I realized it'd been like months since y'all months. put something out. I was like frustrated because I knew y'all had a bunch in the can. I'm like, at least we put do. the ones in the can. Well, it, it, yes. You know, and oh, you just yes, want to you don't want to release a good product. Yeah. And so we weren't really sure. And then going back through uh, yeah. all those things and making sure you stay within the same kind of um, the same format that we had. We just didn't want to release these episodes without having the pictures <sighs> ready to go and the recipes ready to go oh. and things like that. So we we said let's just take a take a step back and we'll go from there. And I think we're I think we'll eventually get to those episodes later on, but video is the way to go. I think video is Video the, is the new way to go, honestly. Especially for us because a lot of the things we do are really really visual when yeah. it comes to cocktails, how we mix, what we mix, right. when we mix things yeah. like that. And then the obviously the finished product. Now, um, that's why we here at ITPH have never been that professional because <laughs> it takes that much more work and time and you know, everyone here we are, we're all, we all have families. We're all professionals. Mm -hmm. Time is one of our most valuable commodities, and it's hard to find time to do all this stuff. It absolutely is. We are adults, which yeah. is why Dave and I just, <laughs> just looked, each, chugged, looked, your looked each other in the eye. <laughs> it was like this weird thing that you guys did. Like you said, okay, let's do it. And then I think we still got too much like frat in us. Right. That we just looked <laughs> at each you. other. We I did was getting we, hazed. He looked at me and he gave kind of that knowing like frat look. And I was like, we should chug it. And we just cheers to just pounded it. It was like, it's over. It's actually better when you chug it. Yeah. Get over it real fast than sipping on it. That had that to. Would, that would make sense. So shout out to Adam at Rock Dingo. That, uh, it's not good. <laughs> not good. No it, need to rate it. Oh, I mean, two. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, but I feel different you de well we already we can uh we can continue heart, doing this heart rates up my intelligence is down nailed it now it's i can do a good podcast i can do stupid things <laughs> faster and that's ultimately the goal well i won't put you on the spot ray and ask when this new form of that's a great question is, is uh, come out. yeah we uh we're gonna we're gonna try and get something um ready to go in a month we have 30 days. We're going to do some trials. Okay, so just like these aren't for public consumption. This is just like make sure all the equipment works. Right. Make sure you know how to do, do it. All yeah. The things. Make sure we can download it. Make sure we can uh, make sure it's the right amount of time. 
because you don't want to look at us for 40 minutes, I mean, maybe 15. Yeah. You know, can oh, we... you're going to do small episodes. Yeah. Small, short, short sided episodes. Um, oh, so this is going to be a lot less like jabber John. This is like, this is how you make you the drink. On These are the things. A drink per episode. Correct. Correct. And that was what we thought we would do one to two drinks per episode or a variation of that drink. And then just have some small talk. How's it going? And then that way we can do two, we could do, uh, those two drinks and then be in and out and be done, yeah. you know, and then keep this is a lot more consumable. And then you'll have a whole library of, of people making drinks and they can just come in and be like, I like the squeezing lemons guys. They always show me how to do this. How do I make a meal? Right. And once you build up that library on YouTube, you can just jump around. And then you can jump around. You can move it back and forth on uh, on Twitter, on TikTok, on Instagram. You can really kind of build that brand. Um, not to say that we think that Squeeze and Lemons could be a brand, but we do have that notion with some of the feedback we've gotten is that what we're doing is there are other people doing it out there, but we, we're not in the industry. We're just fucking dudes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So the listener reached out and gave you feedback. They, we, the <laughs> listener, the only one. <laughs> Troy started it. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I know I'm a listener, so I, I was yeah. too. They wouldn't listen so to me. There's, so there's so what, was, what was Taylor's wife's feedback? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very true. <laughs> so let's go behind the podcast. Were you and Taylor at odds? This, no, this I, come no. to blows. Is that why you're in a sling right now? Right, right. No, uh, Taylor and I were not to blows. Um, it, we just we couldn't we couldn't make our time. We couldn't make it work. We couldn't spend four hours. Well, he's got all those cruises he has to go on. Well, he does a lot of cruising. Mm-hmm. What are you going to do? And with he all also, the episodes? well, we're gonna we we think we can he get gets to half. it. You know. Ray gets the other half. <laughs> so a full Every other weekend and on Wednesdays. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'd be nice. It's my weekend. Honey, I'm going to go listen to Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah. Well, so we'll see. I mean, we might we might release and we might not. I don't know. But I do know that we are we're we're committed, you know, we made some promises to each other to make sure that we we're committed to continuing this journey. Oh, know? this sounds like couples counseling. It does it sound was, like a divorce. It was a little bit of those uh, come to Jesus, kind of yeah. one of those. In fact, Ray down. pulls up in his uh, post-divorce exactly. Jeep today. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, I was thinking yeah. the same thing. It's my midlife crisis. It's midlife right crisis. I'm single now. <laughs> That's I'm going out. Is. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Taylor. I'm getting that Jeep he never <laughs> let me get. This sensible CUV isn't cutting it. I need to. <laughs> yes. I want no doors. That's right. <laughs> no condoms, no doors, no, doors. no protection. I'm raw dogging the shit out I of I listen to seven other podcasts while on the way over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm excited. I don't know why I'm still drinking this. Just chug it. Oh, it's yeah. the move. It'll wake you up. You'll feel like us, which is really cool. <laughs> right. I started sweating for no reason. <laughs> I had to take my hat off. <laughs> you should have seen I felt so bad. I went and... My daughter and I walked into Lucky's, and what do I get? I get an eight pack of Guinness, the Monster Energy drink, and then I ended up getting another one because we're doing a double tonight. So I walked out with enough beer to, you know, choke a donkey and a monster. <laughs> and she's like, "Isn't that stuff bad for you?" And I was like, "I don't know what she's talking yeah, about." Which, which one? Which one? Which yeah, one? so I figured, I figured I'd lean in on the monster. I said, yeah. "Yeah, energy drinks in general aren't really good for you." I was like, "Anything that wakes you up like that, with the exception of black coffee." Is bad for you. If you can keep to one or two cups of black coffee a day, that's actually not bad for you. Yeah. Everything else with taurine. But beer is amazing. I I just, (laughs) I just glazed right past it. I was like, she's got to be talking about the monster. And then she was like, yeah, but they look so cool. I was like, yeah, Mm -hmm. well, it's because it's marketing and that's, that's that's their job. That's her job. Yeah. Like Red Bull invented it. And everyone was like, okay, hold on. There's something to this. And then everyone else had to come out way more extreme. Yeah. Which is pretty sweet. Now everybody's drinking those like Celsius drinks or something. Yeah, oh, which yeah. is is so funny because they're like we added. They vitamins. look like alcohol. My daughters were were like refused to drink them. And my wife was like, "You should try one of these." To my oldest daughter, and she was like, "I can't drink that, mom. It's alcohol." Yeah, she was like, "There's no alcohol in this." She was like, "Oh." Well, I saw you drinking them. I just assumed it was alcohol, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "That kills me because she drinks them at noon." Like yeah. during the week, yeah. <laughs> like, little pick me up after lunch. Yeah. My daughter's like, yeah, she loves those things. Just, you know, just one, one little white claw with lunch, you know, no harm, no foul. No, it's, it's an energy drink, but they've, That's they've hilarious. duped us. Yeah. They're like, oh they no, really this have. has vitamins in it. Like this is good for you. It speeds up your metabolism. 
Here's a little secret. All speed speeds up your metabolism. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's just what it does. The um the Celsius, they you know, they have their own gimmick too. They put creatine in it, they'll put um uh, CBD in it. The, they're they're trying to hit all the you know hit all the you the markets. Be careful with them CBD drinks. I assume everything you drink <laughs> that's not water has shit in it. You probably shouldn't be ingesting. Yeah, like water, energy. tea, and coffee are probably the like safe bets. Everything else, you're if it comes in a can, you pop open. It's probably got probably some got shit something. You shouldn't in it, be yeah. drinking. Well, you've seen all these cannabis drinks that are coming out. Yeah, like that are all like now made with like. Delta eight, mm-hmm. like like derived from hemp. And yeah, they have certain certain amount of mm-hmm. of THC in them that they've derived from from hemp. So it's federally legal now. These things are everywhere. So are they? They don't get you high. It's just the CB. It's one of those CBD things. They say they get you super high. Super high. Oh wow. Yeah, like I've I haven't I haven't had one outside of that one CBD drink that had those that damn Himalayan Viagra in it. I will never. Ever oh, touch yeah. that again? The mus- wasn't that mushroom or something? Yeah, there was mushrooms in there, and and it fucked me up. Like not not mentally. Like I felt perfectly fine. I was like, right. oh, I feel calm. I was like, this is actually really nice. Like I enjoy this. And then I went to bed and got this raging hard on, and through the night, painful boners. Woke up the next oh, day, wow. painful boner. I was like, this is unbelievable. And it turns out that this capsaicin mushroom that was in it. They refer to it as Himalayan Viagra. They've been using it for years. The damn opened up Sherpas. your capillaries and yeah, it worked like a charm. Right, worked like a charm. My wife drinks this rise mushroom stuff. She puts it in her coffee, and I was like, "Let me get some of that." She was like, "Absolutely not. It has capsaicin mushrooms in it." She's like, "I don't need you walking around here fully erect, <laughs> <laughs> like all day, like clear headed, coming up with good reasons." And you say. Right. Don't you tell me what to fucking do when I go to Chuck E. Cheese, okay? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're making it weird, not me. Don't you want me to live longer? That's this right. is good for this me. This is good for me. Yeah. It's a side effect. Everything has a side effect, but it's yeah. what it's fixing. Yeah. If the side effect is not worse than what it's fixing, it's worth it. Yeah, there you go. So I have a Fine. raging heart on, but I'm so clear-headed. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. I know exactly where to go downtown. Yeah, mushrooms. <laughs> it seems like mushrooms are in everything now too. Yeah, it's like we just figured out that these were good for you in the last decade, and it's really now hit the mainstream. Yeah, the hippies are like, I told you. Yeah, Damn exactly. They've been doing totally different so, mushrooms. They're they're like thirty thousand different kinds yeah. of mushrooms out there, and you don't know which ones to put together or take on its own or whatever. That's the only problem I have with yeah, it. Yeah, because some will kill you. Right. Right. <laughs> well, this CBD mushroom drink had the wrong levels of mushrooms certain of it a very calming effect everywhere but down there down there hmm. but in that what it was designed to do no no it was supposed to just be calming and, and yeah, make but you it feel says relaxed. it had the thing that's called himalayan viagra so it did they what it, just called it whatever capsaicin they didn't they didn't call out it was himalayan viagra i did a little research the next day on account of the clear head and all the blood in my penis aren't, aren't you tempted to take like a third of one of those before you know a romantic vacation yeah okay okay <laughs> i just want you're like i'm never touching that again i'm like really because no i'm never touching it again sound bad without yeah. without the right moment mm. i was sitting around with four dudes talking about smoking meats and all of a sudden i'm like yeah you were hey guys i'm gonna have to go <laughs> you, were pointing, you were pointing downstairs <laughs> talk yeah. about smoking meat <laughs> i was like man that, that brisket looks really good and I'm kind of erect. I'm <laughs> never wanted a brisket so bad in my life, apparently. Yeah, it was just weird. I had to go home. Sounds like a Saturday for you. It literally was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you got to be careful with that. But now all these drinks are coming out. Like, I feel like we got to try them one night. Like, just see what it does. See if we all get hard. No, not the not that drink. <laughs> not that drink. <laughs> no, it was like Delta 8 cannabis drinks. Like, I'm just wondering if there's... Because they're like, oh, yeah, you can dial it in. You know, it's like two milligrams at a no time. Way. Each can, like really slow and low. Just be interesting. I don't know that I want to do an episode. It'd be a little it might odd. be awesome. It might be. It says that it works fast, too. Like 15 minutes. Like, you know if you've had too much or too little. Do you little. go to like a dispensary and get this stuff? Apparently you can get them anywhere. What? There's, I, I heard an ad for, for one the other day on, on one of the podcasts I listened to, so I looked it up, and sure enough, they're like, yeah, we shipped to Virginia. My dare officer is going to be furious when he hears out about this. <laughs> You're telling me. 
I dare, dared. Oh, I was a big just say no guy. Yeah. I was scared shitless that when oh, I got to yeah, middle school, sure. they were going to shoot me up with heroin in the bathroom and I was going to come Somebody out. Somebody was going to get zombie. you. Oh, yeah. 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 Brennan, figured, Brennan was like, I'd rather be a chicken than a dead turkey. <laughs> That's, <right>. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly <Nailed> right. <laughs> yeah, Nancy Reagan had me fucked up, man. Oh, yeah. Like, Freddy Krueger had nothing on Nancy Reagan in my world. Yeah. I was certain they were going to shoot me up with heroin in the bathroom. I was never going to get out of seventh grade. Yeah. Is that from your mom? And I don't, I'm not even joking. My mom scared the shit out of me. I didn't do a drug for my entire childhood. For that reason, like, oh, if I do this one thing, I'm going to end up in the gutter the next day. Yeah, no, it was it was Nancy Reagan. Oh, really? Yeah. That that much influence on you. I think the police is what just like the thought of going to jail kept me from doing a lot of things and like going through the D.A.R.E. program and basically like hearing the stories that you will go to jail with marijuana. I was like, well, then I ain't messing with it because like smoking cigarettes I did at a young age, drinking I did at a young age. And those were, they could get you in trouble, but it wasn't go directly to jail, do not pass go, like yeah. like the drugs were. So any drug, any illegal drug was like, I want no parts of that because cigarettes are fun and beer and liquor's fun. So I'll just stay in the beer and li- liquor cigarette lane and have all the fun I need at 16. And speaking of that, did you see what Virginia just passed like this week? Their, uh, or no, the federal government rescheduled man- marijuana from Schedule 1, which is heroin and yeah, yeah, LSD. Yeah. Did it happen officially? I saw the rumors that it was going to happen, but I haven't seen the announcement. Hmm. Maybe it passed the Senate and it just needs to be signed. There was, well. Yeah, because it it's on the same level as like heroin. Right. And it cocaine. means zero medicinal benefit at all, which yeah. means you can't even study it. But if that goes down to Schedule 3, then federal dollars can actually be used. To I can't study. believe this is an argument. Well, 1950s uh, uh, reefer madness was, was real. Oh, it for carried real. carried over through the 90s. What are you doing? You're just finger just fucking <laughs> everything on this chair and <laughs> knocking it over. It keeps just <laughs> knocking and I'm trying over. to. You see what you see him over here? Like he just keeps his hand, just keeps yeah. moving over. He just keeps, he's like a fucking cat. Yeah. He's just <laughs> knocking stuff <laughs> off, knocking of shit off the top. Like, let me, something's high up. Let me knock it over. <laughs> It was knocked over, and I was trying to stra- straighten it up while talking. Everything you straighten up, you knock something else True. over. That's accurate. It's very, very distracting. Yeah, but we figured out. I mean, the whole the whole weed thing, like that's been twenty years, twenty five years that we kind of known. I mean, and that's I'm saying we like the public, like people have known this medicinal and not nearly as bad as heroin and meth and stuff. At least twenty twenty five years. You know, it's funny as heroin was uh, really medicinal for a long time. There. That was it. That was so a it was cocaine. cocaine. Yeah. I mean, they put that stuff in everything. Everything. See, yeah. It's like for hundreds of years, we were like, this is the best medicine. Look how happy this drooling person is. Right. Yeah. Like it worked. And then we were like, no, no, no. There's literally no medicinal value. And then what do we do? We synthesize the opiates and go flood the streets with them. And now everyone's dying. Well, and yeah. I just can't believe that the federal government hasn't decided that how much how much income they could we could make right from this. You know, you could solve a lot of the deficit problem just by no, you can't, you can't. That is unfortunately that yeah. is the inherent problem there with the no, whole situation. Yeah. They will go, okay, we're going to take move the goalpost. Yeah, if we get this money, then we'll use it to do this, and That's then the true. lobbyists will come in and they'll go, we want money, we want money, and next thing you know, you're just funding the same bullshit. And it never made it to the schools or it never well, made I, it to That's what wherever. the lottery's done. Like, we're going to make billions of dollars for the Virginia education system. And all you ever hear is the schools suck. They have no money. It's like do you people, know they, people do you, are playing lottery, aren't they? Do you know what they did with that? So they, they kept their Something word. Something shady, I'm sure. They kept their word that the lottery proceeds would go into the school fund. But instead, what they didn't tell anyone is that they then took the school fund and neutered it and moved it to other shit. Yeah. So instead of saying, oh, we've got the school fund and we're going to pile a bunch of cash on top, they're like, we're going to eliminate the school fund and the lottery will just fund it. So, yeah, that was that This was shady. is always what we do. And we all know that if you don't spend your budget, then you don't get you that don't budget get next, next year. Yeah. Yeah. So what do we do? We buy tanks, like shit you don't <laughs> need, you know? And we're just like, and now like your local county police has fucking tanks because you got to spend it. <laughs> you got to spend it. And then next year you got to spend it. So you better get a better tank. You know, Howard, sir. I need some guns. I need some jets. I just you know, want your them county to fi- probably has a MIG. 
I just want them to figure it out because <laughs> there's better shit for the those police officers to be worried about. Oh, like, absolutely. Come on. It's it's ludicrous. But to, to put marijuana on that level just seems like even in the 60s, you knew it wasn't that bad. Come on. Mm-hmm. No. You'd be surprised what a vocal majority of uh, housewives with nothing better the to do. The original Karens. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the original yeah, Everybody Karen, acts yeah. like Karens are new. No. Like, no. Well, let's be honest. That, that's how prohibition occurred. Right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Liquor touches these lips. You won't touch mine. Or those lips. Come on. It's ridiculous. Get out of my bar. <laughs> <laughs> There's still I a think lot of it, places that are dry, though, aren't there? The counties and such? Yeah. Of course. Yeah, and that's their right. I mean, why not? Now you know your drunks are driving because they got to go over there to get yeah, it and then come yeah, home. And come back, yeah. Great. Can't just stay home. <laughs> got to go get booze over the county line. Well, that's what's crazy about all of that is all the amount of drinking that happens outside of your home. It all involves getting in a car and going somewhere. Like, what percentage of people drink and don't, like, have a zero tolerance when it comes to drinking and driving? I mean, we've gotten a lot better with the advent of We Uber. have. We have. Mm-hmm. And actually, we've kind of backslid on that because Ubers and Lyfts weren't, aren't what they were five years ago. They're coming Co- back. They're I know coming they're back. coming back, but they took a massive hit. They did, but you're not you're not drunk out there in the streets yeah. right now. And like I've seen that it's gotten a lot easier for me to get them. It's still not pre-COVID levels, yeah. but it's a lot better. But we're in the burbs, so being in the burbs is limits the amount you know, of, uh, you know, opportunity for those drivers. Would they drop us off or pick us up and take us down the road? There's not that, there's not another, you know, outlet. So they're more, they're more in the city, more in the city, which yeah. is funny. Cause you can walk to places more in the city. Yeah, <laughs> you can. Yeah. You just got to get lucky and hope some other drunks getting dropped off in the same neighborhood yeah, yeah, you're yeah. trying to get out of. Yeah. You know, my son and I were in London for 10 days and we, we think public transportation that they have in Europe should be everywhere. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, we took trains everywhere all through the UK. Yeah, we and it was so we fumbled nice the ball and so on easy. That yeah. As a country. I mean they But have, you can't retrofit that. You, yeah, it's I mean, it's the, hard to do that now. I've only seen I haven't been to Europe, but I've seen the train system next to ours. But you can't retrofit that. Like we couldn't even if we threw all the money in the world at it, we couldn't Make a good train system at this point. We right. should have done that when we were building the country. But the it's other thing late. they have is those the double de- double decker buses, and yeah. they have taxi cabs as well that are government subsidized. So you still have to pay. You know, you you pay it, but the government helps fund some of those things, and you get on and you get off, get on and get off, and it was it was awesome. I dig that. Yeah, we have scooters. We have scooters. Yeah. <laughs> Shitty scooters. And we fight those tooth and nail. Right. Every yeah. time they come in to say, get those out of here, which I understand on account of people slamming into cars. I've never ridden one. Oh, I've never done one. They're fantastic. They're, I don't like when other people do it. Love when I do it. I could, I could see where it's fun, but it also like seems very dangerous. I know many people have gotten injured on them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there was someone in, last time I was in Nashville, someone died. Like some, some kid got all hammered. Just slammed into a moving car. Uh, well, Schuler and I, we went to see Chelsea, Manchester United play. Uh, we were in Chelsea. We saw it at Stamford Bridge. And I had booked a hotel in Soho, which was a long fucking ways away. And we could not, the train was packed because everybody was there. So we were hammered. We were probably eight or ten beers into this. And we just got on an electric bike in the rain and rode down the, the, the Thames. And, then, oh, and just and it, it took us like 25 minutes on an electric bike and it was awesome but dangerous yeah you know we knew we, were, we didn't know where the hell we were going we were just like we're gonna follow the river <laughs> there you go <laughs> dead then there's only 50 percent chance Did you went you, the wrong way absolutely <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't care we just turned Get back around up the road, <laughs> yeah. like, Shit. that's it you go left or right and like we're good. stick to it you know the river's going one way yeah, so tell us about this trip. I forgot you, y'all went on this like epic uh, father son trip, right? Yeah, so Schuler was, when he was a kid, he said. He's a soccer guy. He's, he's a, a soccer guy. guy. Yeah, yeah. So when he was a kid, he said, when I, uh, I want to go see Manchester United play. And I said, well, you graduated from college. 
and we'll go. And about six months ago, I knew, I knew he was graduating this year. I got in a queue. I got on online and waited six hours. Look at that. He comes back from England. I know. He's I know. Yeah. Fancy <laughs> Look at this. Mind yeah, the right. gap, dude. <laughs> we, um, so I got online for about six hours, and I picked up a ticket to see Manchester United Liverpool pit, play. Pit, cheerio. In, so we, we, we're going to be um, uh, at Old Trafford. Um, and so we saw... Ooh. Manchester United Liverpool play, but I built a trip around that. And during that time, there was it's late enough in the season where we had to have there were Tuesday games, there were Monday games, there were there were all nice. kinds of the you know days. And so we got to see Manchester United Chelsea play. Uh, we saw Tottenham play. Uh, we went to two League One games, uh, and we sat right on right on the pitch and yelled at the referee and yelled right at at, at the other players. Using Did you ever feel in danger at one of those like big rivalry games? No, because they separate you so much. Uh, so, I mean, it is like there's a partition. We, yeah, we went to we went to a pub and uh, we to Charlton. Charlton Athletic was kind of like southeastern, um, and it was a League One game. And we went to a pub, and they said. We're not going to let you in until you show us that you're a Charlton fan. And we're like, we're from the United States. We just fucking bought tickets. I don't know what to say. Yeah. Well, where are you sitting? And they and we were sitting on the Charlton side. And they were like, okay, you can come in. Oh, that's wow. wild. So you had to show your ticket we had to, to get show into the, the pub. It just, go ahead and get into the pub. And then you because, got in and you were like, gotcha, bitch. Yeah. Fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we had to say. Who's who, the other team? Yeah, I like them more. The best. Yeah. <laughs> get tattoos. Yeah. So they are. We never felt like. We never felt like we were, you know, in any danger, but because we were always saying, you know, we're from the states, and everybody like, oh fuck yeah, you know. So they, they, they everybody they, liked you. Everybody liked you because you were there seeing, you know, football. You're like, football. I'm just here for the experience. Just here for the experience. There nice. You go. And we ate and drank our way through London. That's unfortunate. We did a uh, we did a uh, Michelin star beans restaurant at this place and some toast. At this <laughs> place. <laughs> I would never understand British cuisine. I'm telling a, a proper English breakfast is pretty fucking good. Like beans and sausage on like toast or English muffin or a croissant. I loved it. It was. I mean, I know you guys knock it, but you once you have it a couple of times, you're like, man, this is pretty good. And tomatoes, like mm. like grilled tomatoes with it. Ugh. Do you ever try any of that uh, Irish blood pudding? No. That's fucking foul. I don't know <laughs> you what think? the Irish are doing. It has Irish and blood in it. They literally pour the pig's blood into the mix Ugh. with the meat and then stir it up till it's nice and black. Does it get like curdled and anything like that? Some no, it just, it just tastes fucked. Ugh, no. Like I don't understand it. And they're like, it's a delicacy. I'm like, no, it's disgusting. And you guys were so poor. Then you had to fatten it up with blood. So y'all, y'all were in England the whole yeah, time? Yeah, so we we spent all of our nights in London, except for one when we were up in Manchester. And then we came back. Um, Michelin star restaurant one night. We did a 16-course a tasting somewhere. How was there beans and toast? <laughs> we did not have beans and toast. Uh, <laughs> it was three-star rated beans and toast. So it was, it was the best. If you get it out of the toaster at just the right moment, good. <laughs> oh, man. So I'm telling good. you. You know what I just learned? This is a little life hack I just figured out. When I'm like toasting bread for a sandwich, you put the two pieces of toast on top of each other and then put them inside of the toaster oven. Mm. That way only one side of the toast gets hard mm. and the other side stays soft. So it bites through crunchy, but then it goes soft. Because you know, like when it, it, it... I know what you're saying, but I like my toast toasted. It's a game changer on a sandwich. If I was getting toast, oh, I want it crunchy. Okay. But on a sandwich, you want crunch and then you want it to be soft. You don't want to like hurt the roof of your mouth. You ever had a sandwich where the bread's too tough? Yeah, but if it's tough on the outside, that's going to hit the roof of your mouth. I understand, but that's soft. Just try it. I'll put try Put the it. two pieces of toast on top of each other, put them in the toaster oven, I'll try toast it. it up that way, and then make a sandwich. It's a game changer. Like, you want to talk about a British Michelin star. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it's done. That's how it's done. So, did his team win? Yeah, uh, well, uh, Tied one, won the other. So it was all right. They destroy him one nil. <laughs> <laughs> Ass kicking. Just a whooping. So Office much action. We, juggernaut. We went to one game. It was 4 3. So that was a. That was a Holy pretty, cow. That they was had a to good shut one. the place yeah. down. God, this is the best game of the year. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, oh someone's, someone's phone Is thought we said phone? something. 
Someone's uh, got yeah, a my phone. Someone's phone said, "Hey Tottenham." <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. I would That's tell you cool, guys man. if you if you ever get a chance, go go see some proper soccer. Ray, like Ray was texting me about it. He's about coming over to do the podcast. I was like, "Yeah." He's like, "Yeah, I got to tell you about the trip." I was like, "Yeah." He's like, "It's the greatest trip ever for a father and a son." I was like, "That likes soccer." Like yeah, me and my son want no parts but of you, that But trip. I will say this: is that besides those things, we went to the, um, you know, like the Winston Churchill. Uh, we went to we went to see his uh, the bunker that he stayed in during World War II, where he did all of his speeches. Yeah, and I'm sure else. there's, you know, there's a million so the, awesome things. The history that was there uh, is unbelievable. When you go to a building that was built in like 1097, yeah, you go. 10 fucking 97. That's the beauty of Europe in general. Right. Like everywhere you go, you're like, oh, this place is, you know, seven centuries old. And you're like, oh, okay. And you come to America <laughs> and you see a place that was built in the 50s. You're like, that's old, bro. Right. Like, <laughs> so old. And you're like, that's a dilapidated piece of shit. It's yeah. 50 years old. <laughs> it takes a certain amount of time before that old becomes charming. Right. And America has not reached that point necessarily. I mean, we got some stuff. No, but all but that stuff in Europe was built right, so it actually can withstand time. Where everything here, if it's built within the last fifty years, it's basically a turd. Well, you look at the stuff that was built, you know, seventeen hundreds kind of stuff, eighteen hundreds. The, the wood back then, like the trees were more dense because yeah. we weren't growing them so quickly to like harvest the wood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we intentionally. Yeah, it was Grow actually like it. free it's range dense. timber. Yeah. yeah, and it's 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 really dense, and so it lasts so much longer. Anything that's that's modern. We, Schuler and I sat at a bar and had beers at a at a bar that was built in like sixteen ninety or something. You know, yeah. and it was the same bar where people st stood and sat and drank. That's yeah. pretty cool. Men. Men. Studies. Women weren't allowed. <laughs> That's just very different times. Very different, very different, time, different yeah. times. The good old days. Yeah, we went to a place. Yeah, that's what I want. I want to get drunk and have zero chance of talking to a woman. <laughs> now we walk into a bar and we see that and we go, this uh, place is beat. We got to go. We get the fuck out. <laughs> we went to a place in Pittsburgh that was built, in the, like, opened in the late 1800s. And we were like, that's forever ago. Mm -hmm. So old. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so old. Wow. And it's nothing. That's modern yeah. over there. It is wild. That's cool, man. I'm glad you got to do that. I just booked the plane tickets for my Europe trip with the, with the girls. You know, a Swifties. And go check out some tea swizzle. I can't wait to Are hear you going to the this. Paris the Paris show or the Iron uh what is it? Dublin. Is it? Dublin. Yeah. 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 Going to the one of the Dublin shows and I just booked my plane tickets and originally, you know, I had I had made the comment to my daughter the whole reason this came to be is she was trying to go see see her in Pittsburgh, and I was like, "They're twenty five hundred dollars a ticket. Oof. Like it'll cost me ten grand for us to drive to Pittsburgh." I said, "We can go to we can go overseas and see her, mm -hmm. and cost less than it would be to go to Pittsburgh." Now I still stand by the fact that that was an accurate statement at, at the, the time. time. At the time, because <laughs> I got the tickets for cheap because I got them face value. It's like hell yeah, like we're in. What's face value on those tickets? I think I spent like three fifty a ticket, and I'm in VIP. Yeah, that's not. So bad. I mean, like it was a steal. I was like, yeah. I'm like fourteen hundred in. Yeah, but I still have, you know, a lot. I still have eighty six hundred dollars to play with. I'm like, ha ha, <laughs> I'm beaten. I'm gonna win this. Now, had we flown to Ireland, seen the show, hung out for a couple of days, and flown back, I would have been right. Yeah, but now my wife has blown the trip up. Because now the girls got excited. They were like, we should go to Milan. Ooh. Oh, it's the fashion oh, capital wow. of the world. And I'm like, whoa, 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 no, no, no. We're going to go there. And I was like, so then it's like, okay, going to Milan. Then I'm going to the Tour de France. Okay, well, that's fair trade. And I'm like, okay, so now this involves <laughs> plane hopping around Europe. Nice. I just spent 10 grand in plane tickets this week. And I was like, wow. Should have gone to Pittsburgh. Should have gone to Pittsburgh. <laughs> should have gone Because that's that doesn't include all the places that we're get, that we're renting and yeah. the cars. So are you stuff. guys going to fly separately? One's going to go to Milan and one's going to go to wherever in France? No, so it turns out that they're starting in Italy this year. They are. Yeah, because oh. the Paris Olympics. In fact, they're not even going to end going down the Champs Élysées. Huh. Like this will be the first Tour de France that doesn't end going around the Arc de Triomphe and coming in first time ever. It'll Does the Tour de France else. change every year, the route? The route changes every year. Uh -huh. so but it always ends at the Champs de Zillet. Yeah, yeah, every time. Like that's that part's standard. Yeah. They By the way, which is one of my top three cocktails in the in, that I would drink, Champs de Zillet. Mm. 
Okay. He just likes to say it. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. This will be good for the video, though. I'm we, excited. We, we have a Shamsa Zile episode we did early in the I remember that, I remember. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I early. know. So, yeah. so now this is like a... This is like a 10 to 14 day trip. It's a 14 day trip. <laughs> wow. Point. Yeah, this is going to be insane. So it'll be a week in Ireland. So you'll be 20, could you not 30 take, grand in. Could you this. not take a train yeah. from Dublin? It's an island. <laughs> but yeah, you can well, keep talking. Once, no, so once <laughs> you, you get let finished <laughs> to the next city over, <laughs> yeah, to Galway. Yeah, there's a catch a boat. There's not, they don't have an underground railroad system from, from Ireland into the UK. You got a ferry over to Liverpool. Is it ferry? Okay. Yeah. That's the so once line. you get there, you can take that into. You can take that all the way down and across the channel, that a train. If yeah, you, you look can. into that. You can, but but it is it would take you about six hours. You think Brendan's girls are going to ride a train for six hours? Get <laughs> out of here! Actually, there's talk of a train going to Switzerland at some point coming out of. Yeah, no, this whole thing has gotten out of hand. Yeah, they're just building fantasies on fantasies, and my wallet's like, why don't you say no? Wow. To women? Yeah. He's got several of them. It's hard. Yeah, good luck, dude. I, I Three no, women I getting them. my he, kids all the time. He's doing what he can to keep them off the stripper pole when they get older. I'm trying. And you know what? Nothing better than just entitling them and flying <laughs> yeah, them yeah, all yeah, over yeah, yeah. I was going to say, and uh, Taylor Swift show is going to help with that. I she's think. a good girl. Do you girl. hear she's catching a bunch of shit? Because she released oh. uh, some new songs that have explicit lyrics. They do. And everybody, and then I saw somebody that was like, "Hey, like fiddlesticks!" She's a thirty-four-year-old woman singing about her life. Like, no, she's got she's got one song. It's actually a really good song, and uh, it's she must drop the f bomb twenty-five times in it. Nice, like it's just part of the hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay, mm. that's what's up. And the kids are singing it in the car, and I'm like, all right, so fuck's wow. a word. Yeah, she she should realize that she's basically like the new Wiggles. Yeah. But she's not. She was, and she's just not. She's she's grown. Yeah, but up. that's her fan base. Yeah. When you say wiggles, like fruit salad. Yeah, exactly. Yum, yum. Like, but it's not just her wow. fan base. Her fan base is every housewife down to their kids. Yeah, yeah but, but the fourteen-year-olds are funding. Yeah, the, that, yeah, 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 I agree. The fourteen-year-olds are definitely funding them. Well, and gay men. I'd like them to the yeah, yeah. <laughs> and some straight men, and <laughs> <laughs> some straight guys. This this last album. Well, though. the fact is, if you stay clean, you're not gonna hurt your brand. Like you tell it to Cosby. He didn't stay clean. He was never clean. He was his a dirty old man. All his, his jokes were his jokes were yeah. clean. So you keep that shit bottled up, and what happens? You roofie somebody on the you're side, dosing people at <laughs> night. You're doing crazy shit. Will Smith doesn't cuss in his songs. <laughs> good good point. Yeah. Look at that bottled up shit. Now he's a I'm, cuckold and he's fucking slapping Chris Rock. But I'm saying like it's it's not going to help <laughs> that, that she's a, dropping fuck. A term that I never thought over. I would hear. He is, he's a cuckold. He, 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 he is a cuckold. He is a cuckold. His wife <laughs> <laughs> You're assuming he ain't out getting strange on the sly. Strange dudes. Maybe, but strange nonetheless. <laughs> Strange is strange. Strange is strange. And not that there's anything wrong Any with that. Any Oh, the way you it, said it, it, there was malice. But in malice. genre of music, I think it's frowned upon. Not anymore. P. Diddy's broken the mold. <laughs> That's right. That's <laughs> what happened to Eazy. I I don't know. I, yeah. think, I think she should just... Little Nas X is going to shock us and start eating <laughs> box. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to go the other way. Everyone's going to be like, it's all topsy-turvy. <laughs> it was all an act. <laughs> gotcha bitches well i guess the crazy housewives are so in love with her now too that they'll just be like yeah i'll let my 12 year old listen to her say fuck a hundred times yeah over. no it's it's she has completely transcended that whole thing she's she's done it right and she's letting her demons right out in the open so she doesn't have to pull this bullshit i have a buddy of mine at crossfit who is doing the exact same thing his girls are going to go see taylor swift in paris and he's gonna and he got he like now it's they've Stay in a few extra days so they can see the gold medal round of yeah. soccer. You know, that's precisely what we were trying to avoid was the yeah. Olympics because that's just a whole nother set of craziness. Yeah. So we were just like, that's when when I saw the Tour de France going through Italy, I was like, actually, this is like an hour and twenty minutes outside of Milan. Actually, it's like, probably a good time this. to go to Europe and go away from the Olympics. Go away the, from the Olympics. other yeah. touristy places will be way emptier. Yeah, and all the flights are connecting through Paris all of a sudden. So yeah. it's like. You can get just about anywhere because everybody's coming in. 
it helped a little, but not enough. Here, yeah. Here's the guy math on that. For an extra five grand over Pittsburgh, you and your family are checking off multiple bucket list items. Absolutely. So they're going to Ireland. I'm getting the Tour de France. They're going to Italy. Like everybody, like I, I approve. I've, I've just yeah. given up. I'm like, this is going to cost way too much money. Well, <laughs> the cost of something's never prevented you from doing it anyway. Yeah, we've had, I'm uh, wrestling with that a lot. You're touching on a, a nerve a little bit there. I'm like, I'm really diving into my finances. You know, I have two Netflix accounts, both at twenty two ninety nine, and I still haven't been able to figure that out. You get twice out. the Netflix, yeah. twice the Netflix. That's pretty. That's sick, dude. Yeah, I log in on different TVs with different accounts. Nice. Watch the same shit to see if there's oh, differences. It's not, there's not a next level. Oh, there's a next level. <laughs> Twenty two ninety nine more. Every other podcast I listen to has Rocket Money as a sponsor, and Brendan's like, "I'm the opposite of yeah. that." <laughs> Dude, I, no, because I'm really diving in and trying to figure all this stuff out. Like, because I don't, I don't have the money. Like, I'm just, I'm way overextended. That's never stops you from doing anything. Remember when I told you I was like twenty five thousand yeah, dollars in debt? You paid off most of it. I got it whittled down to ten, and then bought ten thousand dollars worth of plane tickets. I'm back up to twenty. Yeah, mm. I mean. Still yeah. net net five thousand. Right? Uh, there's your guy math there. Yeah, I'm five. still down. And now I'm out here talking to Dave. He pulls up with the Jeep. I'm like, if that thing comes down in price, hey, <laughs> hey, hey. I'm bragging about the ten grand I saved on my daughter's used car. And I'm like, damn, that dude is out fathering me. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah, I'm I'm so overexcited. We did a three week cross country trip, and I think we spent like fifteen dollars. Thousand that makes more sense, you yeah, know. But that's you can't do these trips cheap, you can't yeah. Come cheap, it just doesn't exist. But memories are forever, yeah. So they, uh, but I thought, you get I, I thought I did a good job. I was like, this is pretty, uh, pretty good. You did, like, you did five grand a week for a vacation, having to pay for 100%. Like, there was no like really cutting corners. <laughs> like, well, we're traveling I saved every day, I saved all of my uh Hilton points for the last two years. And so I spent oh, yeah, eight hundred fifty. I spent eight hundred fifty thousand points on all of our hotels. But we stayed at like a, a Conrad, a Water for Storia two nights. We stayed at all like these luxury luxury hotels. Nice. And and but if if we would if I would have had to pay for hotels, it ended up been another five grand. Yeah. Easily. I do have some points I can I can you leverage, should. and I'm gonna I'm I'm definitely going to, but we haven't done that yet. And start cutting it. Oh shit! Do we go that far? Better drink a del. Hey, thanks, Dave. He's been here long enough that he's pointing out when we're fucking up. We gotta, we gotta do episodes tonight. Yeah. Let's get a deli. <laughs> we're, we're late even for normal length episodes. So just breaking the breaking the fourth wall. Yeah. We noted, Troy and I think at the same time noticed that we were over the forty minute mark. Well, I looked down and it was like thirty three, and I was like, "This should be when we do a deli if we're going to do a shortened episode." But then we just started right back to yapping. So, what do we got here? Oh, this is the uh, smash. Can you grab that can and hand me one there, uh, Dave, if you don't mind? Don't choke yourself out. We got the Devil's Backbone Distilling Company Bourbon Orange Smash. It's a ready to drink cocktail. It's uh, it says real spirit seven. 0.5% bourbon whiskey with triple sec and natural flavors. Ray, you probably know more about this than I do, but I thought... Made with premium bourbon. What do you think that is? Is that their own bourbon? I thought it, when you when you sell those things like that, they're normally wine-based. Yeah, they, they normally are. So, I, Or it's watered down. So they took bourbon and they cut it way, way back. It's got to be an alcohol percentage. Being that 7.5, it's no more alcohol in it than an IPA. Well, if you're, you know, if if you look at a bourbon and ginger with one shot of bourbon and six ounces of ginger ale, it's probably eight percent. Flip ABV. it and rip it. So it's funny you bring that Real up. Real so fruit juice separates. If you buy these in Maryland, they're ten and a half percent. That's a Virginia ABC yeah. regulation that ha makes it yeah, come I, in that low. I always thought it had to you be to do that? clear spirit. For 10 seconds. Flip I mean, you it. can use vodka. I see vodka and tequila now popping up, but it used to be only wine. That's but. a good point, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited that this one's at least bourbon. So I I did pour ice, though, because I want to make sure that it's uh, watered on down a little bit. Yeah, you know, let's put it on the rocks. Ooh, it's an interesting color. It looks like the monster. Let's hope not. It's like a lime green. So I'll tell you, the monster was bad. Is it carbonated? 
Two? It it looks like it. appears to be. I only need a taster. I don't need a full one. I wonder if it's... Do you want a full one, Troy? No. I wonder if it's carbonated to keep... Did you just pour a full flavor. one over there? This this has like an... Well, here, you know, here's a... here's a. No, he just... Here's another... Pour that in your cup. That one's on the rocks, though. The new ice maker. Yeah. Speaking of debt, <laughs> got a new ice maker out here, and it makes that soft ice, that Chick-fil-A ice. Yeah, the little that ice good ice. ice. I still have this one I'm trying to... Okay, whatever, dude. <laughs> Don't get mad at me for making awesome drinks. I got the guys from Squeezing Lemons here, dude. I'm going to nut up. All right, pretty excited. Bourbon Orange Smash. I'm anticipating way too much sugar, but I was glad to see that it had bourbon in it instead of, like you said, vodka or tequila. That's very interesting. That doesn't suck. I mean, that's my gut reaction right there on ice. That doesn't suck at all. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Definitely, you can taste the triple sec in the bourbon. Yeah, that's like real bourbon. Yeah. That's not some wine-based nonsense. But it is It is limited by, because of Virginia's antiquated liquor laws. God forbid we have too much fun. Commonwealth. Now, I, I'm... I feel self-conscious sitting next to Ray here. Uh, when I say this is good, I don't mean like this is cocktail good. I A lot of my viewpoint is sitting on a boat in the middle of a lake, whether it's good for that or not. I can tell you this is better than anything Ray's ever well, this, me. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is pouring. I mean, this is literally in a can ready to go. So, like, you got to – that counts for something. You're not mixing this drink. This is already mixed. You just pour it in a cup. Ray is frantically looking on his phone. I'm yeah, I just want to. I just. I, I'm doing a little research here. Um, I see uh, that. This is going to be horse piss for Ray. Oh, How this can is I knock definitely this horse down? piss for Ray. Yeah, he's. Yeah, he I liked mean, it palate, so much. He's got to find something wrong with it. No, I. No, 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 no. I. I. The antiquated. Alcohol laws are so dumb. Yeah, it's you can definitely tell that it there just needs to be a little something more in it. Like I would pour. It needs more bourbon. I'd pour right. a half a shot of bourbon. In I this. guarantee yeah. you go to Maryland and pick this up, where it's ten and a half, and I bet it cleans that up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's in that's how they intended it. One of the things well, about I it, almost, I'm sorry, I no, almost wonder no. if it would, if you would approve of it better if it were not cut by the ice, because right off the bat, it's getting watered down in. Because it's In got that good, that good Chick Fil A ice. <laughs> no, I, I totally agree with you that this is a great thing to have on the water, easy pull out of the you know drink it tailgating. This is a good thing to do for tailgating. Because right, you can my have score down, so I won't, um, mm. won't get screwed up. Typically, when you have the word smash in a cocktail, ooh, yeah, I like this. Um, you have mint in it, and there's no mint, and you don't taste any mint. I've oh, got, is that a thing? Yeah. Interesting. I would put know a little that. mint in that. Let mm-hmm. me kick it up and not. So those lemon smashes that are should have famous, a mint. That yeah, mint should have it? a mint. Because you I always think of when smash. I think of smash, I think of the the orange smash or whatever they sell down at the, the orange those are, those are crushes. Oh yeah, yeah. That's totally different. Okay. All right, Troy. You want to start with this thing? I mean, it's good. It's okay. Um, of course, I'm not housing it so i don't know if i'm getting all the flavors i mean it's a three it's it's great for what it is if you don't want to bullshit and 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 mess around with mixing a drink throw throw some of those in the cooler and you got yourself a a drink ready to go if you don't like beer yeah especially and it's it's a good mix of i'd like a little more bourbon it's it's a little sweet but i mean you can taste the bourbon you can taste the triple sec it's just again back to the antiquated laws like it just seems so dumb that like Seven and a half is fine, but like 10 would be too much when like you're just going to drink more of these. So you're going to get there. We can like sell wine. That's 13 14. to 14%. Yeah. yeah. You can sell beers that are like 15% of yeah. you know, this craziness. But because this has liquor in it, they have to limit it to seven and a half. Like that's the problem. Right. So here's what I'll tell you about Devil's Backbone. One of the things that I was looking at is that I remember that they have their own, they have their own line Distillery. of still. Yeah. Yeah. So this is probably their bourbon. 
This is probably their bourbon. It's probably shitty bourbon. Like, they probably did some stuff that didn't come out right or used it. They say so, premium bourbon on there. They do. They're, it says I mean, premium. Pr- yeah. Premium you can put on anything. Yeah, anything. that's not like... So what uh, they probably did was that instead of throw it all out or dump it down the drain, they said, put- we're going to make a canned cocktail with this, <laughs> and we're going to hide it. Yeah. And so that, that way they didn't have any waste. Because it does take six or seven years to, you know, you could quickly age that whiskey if you wanted to, but... You know, they probably did that. So this, so this is, is a, a, it's smart. It's a young bourbon that's very, that, very, that very wasn't young. made yeah. correctly, probably. Um, so um, this can, I'm going to give it a three and a half, and I'll tell you why. Because I think that I think that Dave hits right on the head with it's like this is perfect for like tailgating on a boat. It's very simple. It's very easy, and I think everybody can drink it. Yeah. If it's a true can cocktail, those can cocktails that you add your spirit after you pour the ingredient in, mm. that's much better. Yeah, but that's that. That's not what this is. This right, is you better. Went, you went three and a half, Troy. You went three. Yeah. You could dress this up too. You could. You could yeah. add more liquor. You could pour some Sprite or something in it. Like sure. you could do all kinds of crazy yeah. stuff with that. Put so a little I, splash of grenadine in it or something. I like that. I can actually taste bourbon. Like yeah, I know this is a bourbon drink. Honestly, if I was at a bar, and like they just had like, sometimes you get like draft cocktails where it's like pre mixed. And they poured this for me. I wouldn't hate it, especially if you put like mint in it. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, yeah, perfectly acceptable, and give them seven dollars gladly, and move on for like their cheap house yeah. cocktail. This is fine. I, I I don't love it, but I genuinely like it. I will probably stock these throughout the summer based on just what I'm tasting here. Yeah, the bourbon comes through. It's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. So it's sweet, but it's like I expected. It's like, not sicky sweet. I expected sicky right. sweet. I'm giving it a three and a half. Especially if you I put like another it. half ounce or ounce of actual, actual good bourbon, bourbon. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like that yeah. might really like yeah, chef's kiss. Half a shot of bourbon in there be perfect. I think putting it on the ice probably helps cut the sweetness. I like it a lot. Three and a half. I'm going to buy it. I, I almost could. I could be talked into a four, but it's like it's a new category for me. Canned yeah. cocktails. So I don't know enough. I, I, I wonder if. If I went all summer drinking canned cocktails, if I'd come back to this and go, no, this was a four. You should try the canned cocktails that don't have the alcohol in it, and you add however much you want and whichever kind you want. Yeah, there's already there's already all the flavors are put into it. Yeah, and then like, you just add your spirit. Is, it, is there an ounce lying around without uh, without uh, ice in it anywhere? Is there anything left in any can? This one. Is it sweeter when you take it that way? Surprisingly, uh, not bad. Not, not really. Not as much as you would think. Yeah, I bet the bourbon's more pronounced too, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So that's actually probably better, almost. Maybe. Well, it doesn't say poured over ice. That was something you did because of your new because ice I saw maker. I, I I have the ice maker, and yeah. I saw a buddy drinking these last weekend on a golf trip, and I was like, "What is that?" And then we happened to go to Devil's Backbone, and I was like, "Well, I'll pick up one of those and." Bring it home and try it, because he was like, "No, nah, these are great," and that's how he was doing. He's pouring it on ice. It's, it's I'm going to give it a three and a half. I honestly could be talked into a higher score. It's interesting. The the can says "ready to drink," and then if you think about it, like any time I've poured a, a warm Miller Light over ice because I'm a degenerate, it's a yeah, that's sad. Dude. It's a it's a nightmare, right? Right. But here we are taking the ready to drink can beverage, pouring it over ice. We might be doing it a disservice. But as it ta- as it stands with uh, with ice, I'm at three and a half. Uh, I think it was with Troy's 3.0 is basically impossible to get a deli on this. But and I didn't even ask how much this was. Is this way more than a craft beer? Should be 11.99. Oh, I have no idea. I was uh, was way into my evening. 11.99 a four pack or six pack? Probably a four pack. I had played a round of golf. Hmm. They're not cheap. I will say that um, Steam Bell has these, but they do the Orange Crush, the Devil's Backbone Orange Crush. Nice. So they, um, and that's what my uh, fiance drinks when she goes. She doesn't get their beer; she gets the Orange Crush. So yeah, I like this a lot. And uh, I would do, I would drink these. I'd, I'd, All right, so a three and a half from the the cocktail guy. For the cocktail guy, yeah, but I wouldn't consider this a cocktail. This is a this is a this is goes along the lines of a a truly. You know, uh, no way. This has way more carbs. 
<laughs> I mean, or I mean, what the, you you name it, those canned, yeah, yeah, whatever they are, forty percent more. But alcohol. as someone who who prefers a liquor drink, mm-hmm. you're still going to net out at three and a half. I think that's saying something. Sure, that they've done yeah. something right. So three and a half here. Dave's three and a half. I'm a three and a half. And Troy, you're a three. Yeah. All right. So they you did do I the, mess it up? Because I mean, a take, three and a half with four people would have been quorum, and we would have given it a deli based on our loose rules. Then I'll say that three we've and created. a half. Well, no, don't fucking just change your. I liked it. I did like it, and I don't think my I don't think my vote, being that I'm not fully consuming it, should pull it down because it's it's good. Mm. All right. I, I would de- like a weekend on the lake. I will buy a six pack of this to throw in with my other boat beer, and this will be like the first. The first beer of the of the round because it is seven and a half, which yeah gets is you, a lot. Get you kickstarted. Yeah, if you get if you had three or four of these, you're gonna you're gonna be all right. Yeah, you're gonna oh. say something you regret. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The first beer of the round, you drink that and you follow up with you know your dozen Miller Lights. That's definitely the move. Yeah, definitely the move. You don't want a dozen of these. Right, uh, Troy, they, uh, that would give you a shitty headache. Troy, I don't want to argue with you here. What is your official score? I'll go three and a half. Oh, huh. mm. so it's a quorum deli with an asterisk. This is like Sammy Sosa's home runs. <laughs> no, I liked it. It I is just... good. It is good. And I feel uh, I'm starting to feel intoxicated, which is great news for the second episode. Yes. <laughs> great news. Bad news for the meetings at 9 a.m. tomorrow. And Ooh. listeners are going to have to wait another week to, to hear, hear the it. shenanigans. <laughs> It is, that is my favorite, though, because these episodes are always more funny post-Delhi. And when you do a back-to-back, the whole next episode is post-Delhi. And then there's another, another. Delhi. Yeah. <laughs> so really throw you for a loop. And I hope next week's Delhi is dope because I bought a 15-pack because that was the only way to get it. Oof. 15-pack. I've 15 already written pack. my score down just to screw you over. <laughs> <laughs> It's really not. It's if I think it sucks that this is a problem. <laughs> that's the real you know? sad part. Yeah, and which happens uh, all the time. All right, so that's a uh, quorum deli. It's the it's the lowest form of deli. A deli's a deli. But a deli's a deli. But buy it buy it for the beach as the first drink of all your friends. I would agree. That's a good call. Hanging out at the pool would be good. Yeah. There you go. Hey, are you a pie capify? I am. And you're a Pi Kappa Phi. That's correct. So both of you are Pi Kappa Phi's. That's yep. right. That's excellent. We're Americans. I see that. No, yeah. I, this has been a very interesting week for Pi Kappa Phi. Yeah. And they, uh, I guess, what was it? The Palestinian flag got raised at, at UNC, and I, I don't, never got raised. They well, tried I don't. To I don't care it. to talk about the politics of the situation. They, did, they, they kept the. Um, they were the ones that surrounded the American flag before it, so it didn't get torn down. I am also an alum of the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Where so this happened. is huh. literally your... No, he wasn't a Pi I was not a Pi there. there. Oh, this is getting weird. Okay. He was a Pi Cap at Longwood. You were a Pi Cap at your first university. Correct. Undergrad. And then you went over there. Correct. But so you partied at the house because you are a brother, just not from that chapter. So you... I've been to that you're house. You're very familiar with the... On multiple occasions, yes. There you go. Okay. That makes sense. I mean, you knew the handshake. You got in the door. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It involves a hand job with your off hand, which is really difficult. Okay, so Pi Cabify doesn't do everything right. <laughs> that's for sure. But these are the uh, these are the Chads that decided to rally around the American flag. And I guess it went viral this week when they tried to put the Palestinian flag up on campus. And they rallied around the flag. They saved it as it was coming down. And they mm-hmm. got it hoisted back up. And they sang the national anthem. And I guess someone recorded this. And it went viral. And now these guys are being touted as heroes of America. Because they kept they kept our flag up, old glory stands because of frat guys. Which, as a frat guy, I always knew there is no one greater. That's well, right. There's actually a lot. <laughs> Literally anyone in the military. That's a very different fraternity, and they kind of nailed it. Mm-hmm. But when you go one step down, frat guys, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think they're heroes on uh, on the same vein of real American heroes. The Bud Light commercials from the there you go nineties. There you go. But so I guess somebody out there in the universe to start, started a GoFundMe with the goal of raising, what, $30,000? Yeah, like, well, to, I think... We, that's I when learned, I first saw it. Yeah, I learned from Troy that those goalposts often move, 
So I don't know, but I bet the original thing was like a thousand bucks or five. Have they moved the goalpost since it went over? Oh my gosh. Yes. I haven't checked it. No, like, have, does it show the new goal at a certain yeah, dollar amount? But it, yeah, but it doesn't mention the previous goals. So, no. Troy, tell them. When we came around it, it was like 30. It was 30 or 35 when we first got wind of it. Yeah. And then a few hours later, Dave checked it, and it was up to, it was over 35. So they, quote, unquote, moved the goalpost. Yeah, sure. Because that's how fundraising works. Well, this is what we do with yeah, M4K, exactly, right? Yeah. I started I started like $2,000, and then if I get to $2,000, i am like, uh, 2500 yeah, like, yeah. You just move it so the new people who log in go, oh my God. they're almost there. <laughs> it's six I, just, years. I just looked. <laughs> okay, what's the GoFundMe at? Uh, it's way more than Brendan would give his friends if he won a billion dollars. Oh my gosh. So it's over $7. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to, I'm just going to put it in Brendan's face. Get okay. the natural reaction. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> This is for a fucking kegger. <laughs> they're over. Show, show they're over so yesterday it was they're a, over uh, half a million oh dollars. Oh my lord! Yeah, yesterday a half a million dollars. It's five hundred thousand dollars raised a four hundred and fifty thousand dollar goal. Right, they haven't even moved the goalpost <laughs> fast enough. And the whole thing, it literally the GoFundMe was. Let's throw these frat guys for a saving party. the flag a party. Yeah, well, they're gonna go see Taylor Swift. Let what me do in <laughs> Dublin. <laughs> oh, by the way, GoFundMe people who came up with this idea, those guys did not need your help throwing a party. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> they go to UNC. <laughs> Are you giving them money, Dave? No, I'm texting it to my daughter. Because okay. <laughs> I kept her in the loop. and, and uh, from He's the, like, don't miss this party, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's funny because we went to a, we went to a darty. Uh, a year and a half ago. What's uh, a darty day it's a party? Day party. Oh, okay. Before, a, Avi. before that was a, not a thing when I was in college. No, it Same was year. just a party I learned at noon. From my yeah, daughter. Just, yeah, all parties started. It was early. Just a party at noon. <laughs> what the hell. It was a it was a tailgate or whatever before a football yeah. game, and uh, my daughter was a senior in high school and brought her best friend, and I'm like, let's go to the pie cap house and go into a party, and they're like, really, you can do that? And I'm like. In my head, I'm like, I don't know. We'll see what yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah. But I'm like, of course we can. I'm a brother. And I just rolled in there, and I'm like, hey, I'm. I gave the hand job and the handshake at the same time. Yeah. And they're like, come on in. And it was awesome. Like, it's a nice house, anyway. Oh, it's Chapel Hill. Yeah, everything's nice there. Yeah. So these kids. Our fraternity need house the money. at BC was a turd. Oh, so is yeah. So is my fraternity house. Yeah. It's absolute trash. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah. <laughs> And if we'd raised half a million dollars, we never would have fixed it. <laughs> and and some of those big schools in UNC is probably one of them. Like they have house moms, they have staff, like they have they have kitchen staff that make meals and stuff. Like they have, it's crazy what those kids have. Yeah, this is. So what do you do with five hundred thousand dollars? If the money was raised for a party, you sure as hell better throw a hell of a party, I and you better do, only be donate, pumping I John Philip Sousa. A bunch of it. So yeah, there's got to be some philanthropy. That they, um, they have a philanthropy that they're big with. There were two other fraternities that were also out there uh, in the same vein. They just weren't smart enough as the PiCaps to 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 do a GoFundMe. Uh-huh. So PiCaps al- already reached out to those two, and they're going to share with them. And they're all looking into ph- philanthropic uh, whatever their their causes are. Yeah, yeah. ISIS. <laughs> <laughs> like that's that would be bad. That's it, like. So we're we're hooked up with is is whatever this yeah, is yeah. you know this is what we've been working with we're educating children in the <laughs> uh oh well I I you know it's pretty crazy but I have to give those guys some credit because to go do that in today's world like they put themselves in danger dude like that's pretty bananas like I don't know how many people would actually do that. Don't oh, dude, are you kidding me? Complicated. No. In my yeah. in my fraternity in the '90s, they would go there and be like, "I feel we should defend the flag in hopes that we get into a fist fight." Well, I talked yeah, to, I t- I talk to my fraternity brothers that yes, we would be fighting them, right? But uh, that's, I mean, that's in what the happened '90s. At- I'm saying today, like you know, there's going to be social media. You know, they're going to take your picture. You know, you're probably going to catch some grief for this, and you might actually like be threatened. Like it, they put themselves out there. This isn't how frat guys think. The, the kind of people that gravitate today's, towards the fraternity. I'm talking about today's ki- kids. You're talking about the same fraternity that a year ago was busted because they were slipping shit in people's drinks. Not this, this fraternity. Fr- yeah, why would you say that? Oh, really? This fraternity? 
Google Phi Kappa, Phi Kappa Phi at UNC, and if you get past any of this, they were in the papers a year ago for some, like, fucked up shit. I thought their drinks were really good. <laughs> <laughs> but I would say, like, like for turn to you guys, they're sending dick pics, they're doing their no, thing. No, I like, understand that, kind of one is, one you'll get in trouble for, one you will get death threats for. I, I just I think, think that it's a different mentality for these kind of guys. Like yeah. this is, I, I think it's more along Dave's lines. Like I'd be like, I am literally going to fight if you try to take this flag down, and that's all you're worried about. You're and not it, thinking and it, beyond. And it wasn't today. about defending America. It was like an excuse to get into a fight. And I don't think that's what happened here. No, it I didn't. mean I think it you didn't. see the flag and go, "This is crazy," but you have that mentality. You're an you're an alpha, and you know what yeah. I mean. Yeah, you go in there and you go, "You're not." Don't don't fucking touch that. Do your own yeah. thing. Don't over touch there. that. You may but, as well yeah. come into the fraternity sure. house and try to take down their letters. Yeah, you're not. It's not happening. Well, that's America's letters, and they just were like, "Nah, not today." Yeah, not today. People. I don't. I'm not disagreeing with anything you're saying. I'm just saying there, there's probably going to be some repercussions that aren't going to go well for. The I kids. don't believe that in today's political client uh, climate that those guys going to defend the flag, no matter why they were there or what they were doing are going to see any repercussions from that other than positive feedback. I do, too. I you, don't, you don't think the people that were there yelling at them and pelting them won't try to find out information and, no, and ruin cowards. their lives? Those I, people are cowards. I also think it'd be different if the if this fraternity picked a side. You know, yeah, the, there the was protesters no, are there yeah. on one side well, they or did another. Yeah. By, but they did by protecting the flag. They but they, they didn't you chose because America. they chose America. Well, you're not saying, I tell it what, to the crazy protesters. Y'all act like I'm coming up with this shit out no, of the I, I, like, I, I like that you're bringing it up, but I'm saying, it's not like they went in there and said, You're wrong. right, they're all level-headed people. This will go over smoothly and they'll all be... I get what you're saying. It's the protesters you got to worry about. But it's like, to, to Dave's point, it's not like they went, no, the Israeli flag's going up, bitch. Like, they didn't... I, I didn't say that happened. I'm saying these people are lunatics, and they're probably going to So you think they'll sh- target them? Like, yes. they'll be like, we got to go after that fraternity at that university 100%. because they they all of a sudden became martyrs. 100%. Now we got we to come out. But like Ray said, these those protesters just want to scream and let out some rage. They're not, they're not going to assassinate anyone or even start a fight. Well, if you believe... I hope not. If you believe that a lot of the... Um, Looked like a bunch of Duke students anyway. <laughs> That's a UNC fan talking. I love that though. That means they were just standing around hopping up and down in striped shirts. Or yeah. UNC grad. I should not, undersell it. Not very, UNC not very attractive. <laughs> but smart as shit. Yeah. Whip, whip smart. Whip yeah. smart. Very smart. Well, I hope nothing bad happens. No, but that's true, though, because you, you you hear about there's all these like other people infiltrating this stuff to stoke fires and create. Yeah. And I don't know how much to listen to that, but that's what they say. That's what you know. These people come in and that's what start, happened at Columbia. Yeah, you start seeing an, an underswell, like a, a natural current, start to occur, and then these people come in, these agitators, if you will, and then they kind of build it up. I mean, I think that's that's kind of been the case forever. Yeah, right. Even from like. Way back in the day when you would have strikes in the 1800s, the Pinkertons would come in and agitate until someone got killed and then be like, stop, strike's over, look, you fucked up. Right, yeah. Like, that was, this is not a new plan. No. And you're right, in order to agitate, sometimes you have to create violence before people go, wait, there is a problem. So I I can see what you're saying. I mean, someone sends out a tweet, or whatever they call it now, and just the the people that want to troll just they go full backstory on these people and we'll find out if you shit your pants in the fifth grade like they will find out oh like, doo-doo brown <laughs> they, they they will find out if you've done anything to your point about whatever happened last year i'm sure these guys aren't all good all the time i don't even know that it was them something occurred in the house i was just looking through headlines yeah, yeah, and yeah. i scrolled long enough that there was an incident, that doesn't even mean that it was brothers, but that yeah. doesn't mean that it won't get exactly spun. Yeah. But if you look back a couple of years, there's like negative press, and now yeah. they're hailed as, and again, I'm not saying they did anything. It could have been some outlier who showed up at a frat party, pulled some bullshit. That shit, unfortunately, is a sick world. But now they're hailed as then heroes, again, they're and you got to take down heroes. They're also of the social media uh 
generation, so maybe they're just like, fuck it. I put all my own stuff on blast anyway. You know, like, what do I care? Take my picture. Put video of me. I'm already tweeting about it and posting videos, TikToks of it anyway. What's they're, it matter? The 15 minutes of fame is going to benefit them in the end as long as there's not some crazy yeah, right. repercussions. Like some psycho decide, okay, we need to come at them. Because that, that is possible. I mean, I didn't even think about that. There's always some psycho who's sitting there looking at it. You know, what was that What was that movie, Happy Gilmore? <laughs> like, you see, and like, he's sitting there, he's putting his lipstick on, yeah. and he's, like, thinking about who I want to kill. And then he's and like, Happy was on there until he did yeah. something nice to And then him. he then like, all right, Happy lives, yeah. you know? And, like, <laughs> goes and cl- I guess that's true. There's always some... All right, there was a lot of aggression in the turtle tank turtle just then. Fight, dude. <laughs> yeah, that was... One was upside down in the tank. A lot going on over there. Yeah. <laughs> I was just amazed. I was reading some of the Twitter comments, and they're all very supportive. And it just surprised me the amount of people. At this point, it had gone to 60 something thousand. And I'm, and I'm reading the comments, and they're like, I'm going to, I can't afford it, but I'm going to send them $50 so they can get a nice bottle of whiskey. And I'm like, these guys are trust fund kids from the University of North Carolina <laughs> Chapel Hill. You should probably pay your rent, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so do we all agree, though, that since the GoFundMe started with the, the obvious intention of throwing a rager for these guys, whatever they do with that money philanthropic-wise and splitting it with the other fraternities, they still got to keep like 50 grand and throw the baddest party that UNC's yeah. ever seen, oh, right? Yeah. Yeah. They have yeah. to do it. They have to. Otherwise, they're they're spitting in the face of the whole. If Go they don't me. throw a straight like the most over the top gaudy Fourth of July themed like oh that they, they USA, should wait till the fourth oh, like fourth, yeah that yeah. should be the cocaine party. snowman right like <laughs> wait what <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm sorry I thought that was really I mean patriotic. I'm just talking about red white and blue everything yeah. like just making an American flag like theme Kid Rock shows up yeah, yeah. Oh. oh. Dude, Kid, oh, Kid Rock, Rock show up. Yeah. Kid Rock better show yeah, up. Right. Yeah. Kid Rock better show up and then start dropping more money on him. Yeah. yeah. I want to see planes flying over, trailing red, white, and yeah. blue. Like, I mean, I would throw I would throw a hell of a party. I would do some good with the money, but like fifty thousand of that is earmarked towards a hell of a good time. And I'm not talking one day. Dude, you give so a two-day party. Oh uh, yeah. Well, no, you could do a, you could do two and a half. You could do Friday, Saturday. It starts Friday and it ends Sunday. Sunday. Oh well, no, Sunday three or four rest? o'clock. No, three or four o'clock. Well, they don't have classes now. Classes ended, so you usually go all through no, exams. Everything <laughs> everything in college parties start Thursday night. Thursday is Friday. Oh. You don't have to tell so me why go, do you think we do the podcast yeah. on Thursday night? So you start at Thursday, Still in college. you go yeah. through s- Saturday night, and then Sunday is your recovery day. Those guys don't need a recovery. But I'm they're telling young. you, mm. if they when they give that money away, they're gonna look like Double heroes. Well, yeah, like, you got to give some money away, but don't don't slip on the fact that like free beer for everybody, yeah. sixteen and up. I think they should buy a lake house. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. you're logical. <laughs> this is not a logical situation. A return lake on house? investment. A pie yeah. cap a lake house. Oh man. And then Brennan's friends could visit one week a year. Yeah, at most. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is this is this is how you do. It. You still throw a party, but then you do some good. Troy, yeah. I see you looking at the clock. There, should we? I think we should uh, wrap this one up. Wrap it up. Yeah, I like it. I like but it. But thanks for giving a shout out to uh, Dave and my uh, fraternity, dude. I'm I'm psyched. Y'all are American heroes. I didn't even know. I saw the article and I didn't I didn't like delve into it. And then my brother like texted me out of the blue. Was like. Did I just hear on the radio that was your fraternity? And I was like, I don't know. And I like started digging. I was like, oh, snap. You could get an invite. I forwarded, I forwarded it to the uh, active brothers of my chapter. And I said, you guys are fundraising wrong. <laughs> Do this. Yeah, this is super easy. <laughs> yep. Just send a pledge to stand in front of the flag <laughs> right. for a whole semester. Yeah, we used to do car washes and make like a hundred bucks. <laughs> right. <laughs> We like, stood out with like fireman's boots. Put, yeah. Put a, like, put a pledge in harm's way to, you know, yeah. to get maced and screamed at. If you had a pledge every day standing at the flag, I would get maced for to half defend a it. Dollars. I think you could. Oh, I, yeah. oh yeah. Are you fucking serious? I get maced for five hundred. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm like twenty thousand dollars in debt. Let's make that twenty thousand dollars. Because that would feel good. I'd be getting maced. maced. Haze. Yeah. And I'd like to flip the order of that, because once you're tased, 
What's it really matter if you got some ace in? <laughs> I mean, I did most of that as a pledge, so for free. Yeah. So yeah, no problem. You got maced and tased as a pledge? I didn't get tased. You did get maced. Uh, hazing was a real thing in the 90s. Yes. I've been maced once. Once. It was my fault. That's thought, you thought it was breath spray, breath spray? No, I just, I was like, I sprayed a bunch of mace in the air. <laughs> and I was like. <laughs> this is not a bad. sober story. And then like. Dude, I was like 14. Oh. I was sober as a judge. I, I maced myself when I was like eight because like in the 80s, every wife had the mace on their That's key That's what ring. it was. Yeah. It was the keychain thing. And I was like, thing. what's this? And I just sprayed it right in my face. Oh, yeah. wow. That's basically, I sprayed it and By then the way, I walked through it and I was like, ah! At eight, I still could have raped somebody with spraying myself in the in the face. It wasn't that bad. Okay, that's a weird, whole weird <laughs> statement. I on think. that note. I I'm even, saying the potency uh, was very weak. <laughs> It was probably like a hundred years old. Like it probably was like out of date. I feel like I just killed the I entire to episode. Edit you. Yeah, no, I just, <laughs> we'll just let that be the lasting impression of you. Dave's rape game is strong, is what I'm Dude, hearing. At eight, at eight, <laughs> oh. not now. Yeah. You can't even control a boner at eight. You're talking about the worst boner. Thank God I didn't have that white claw that you had at that party. That would have been awful. <laughs> what is happening over here? It got weird. We went too long. We went too long. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> See? No, no one said that to an eight-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> That's facts. Or 48-year-old. Except well, the school teacher. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm sorry that went off the rails. That's bourbon. Stick that around for next week. Yeah, wait to let's see where this goes. <laughs> I'm just getting warmed be up. Weird. If you need a good That's pair of sunglasses, said. head over to nectarsunglasses.com. Drop ITPH in the coupon code. You'll get 20% off of already good price sunglasses. It's so hard to go into these after that. Uh, <laughs> if you need a mortgage, head over to ScreenDoorMortgage.com. Jimmy will take care of you. That's assuming you're living in Georgia or Virginia. That's separated by North Carolina, the land of the free. <laughs> and South Carolina. And South Carolina. Well, no one claims South Carolina, let's be honest. Yeah, if you have topics, send them to <laughs> inside the pallet house at gmail.com. You can always find us on Facebook. And if you uh, have discretionary out. money, send Ooh. it to... Pike Apple Venmo Pie. at Inside the Pile House. <laughs> yeah, send, instead of sending those trust fund kids money, send it to us at Inside the Pile House on Venmo. That's exactly right. These are these are guys who need money. We got some money. Yeah, but I'm gonna, the next Ellie's bought by, uh, okay. by Troy's defending by uh, Brennan's flag right now. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. It's a GoFundMe. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. This bourbon is hitting me. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll be giving that shout out to Joe for sending the we money. We went too the long. Next, this is the next deli. I have it written down right here. The next one. When I, yeah. When we not get, this one. Because this one I'd already bought oh, beforehand. So it's the next one. So technically. So we got to wait a week? I was trying to be honest. Well, they do. Oh, we don't. No, we got to wait five minutes. Well, let's run it back. Piss break and roll. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll be talking to you next week. <laughs> oh, and, uh, and Adam over at Rock Dingo Woodcraft. Thank you so much. For uh, giving us the idea for a uh, gonster. Ugh. It was gross. It's terrible. It's gross. But thank you. Thank you guys so much for doing it. We'll be talking to you next week. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>